The year is 1999. The Cold War has been over for more than a decade, and for the first time in a half century, the world is free from the spectre of nuclear apocalypse. It should be a time of peace and prosperity, but all over the globe, the embers of old animosities have been fanned into flame by the winds of freedom. Terrorism in the 21st century is an international industry. Money and expertise flow freely through the global computer nets, and every type of weapon imaginable is available on the black market of the third world. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. What's needed is an organization with the resources and the authority to fight terrorism wherever it flourishes. It would be composed of the best and brightest counter-terrorism experts from every country and armed with state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. It would operate in absolute secrecy, its existence known only to the most senior government officials. It would attack swiftly and silently, cutting off the head of the Viper before it had a chance to strike. Such an organization already exists. Its code name is Rainbow. Operation Steel Wind. Earlier this evening, armed members of the terrorist organization Free Europe seized control of the Belgian embassy in London. Your mission is to retake the embassy with minimal civilian losses. Looks like we've got our first real job. The Brits would love to send in the SAS, but the word from Brussels is no way. And London says the same about the Belgian ESI. I don't have to tell you that we're going under the microscope on this one. There are folks on both sides of the Atlantic who still aren't convinced that there's any need for a group like Rainbow. Take your time and study the situation carefully before you light the fuse. If we blow it the first time out, they may just shut us down. position.
down! Get down! Escorting precious cargo. Waiting for orders. Charlie, go. Bravo, go. Alpha, go. Operation Cold Thunder. Hutu rebels have captured a research outpost in the Congo run by the Horizon Corporation. Your mission is to rescue the American and European scientists without alerting the main body of the rebel force to your presence. You made quite an impression on the Belgians during that embassy takedown. They're insisting that we handle this situation in the Congo. Horizon is the darling of the biotech industry, wildly profitable with a strong activist streak. I'll let their CEO, John Breitling, fill you in on their activities in Africa. The bottom line for us is that the leader of their research team is a VIP named Catherine Winston. High-ranking friends at NIH, WHO, dinners at the White House, you get the idea. It's absolutely essential that if you get anyone out, that it's her. We're not in the Congo to turn a profit. We're there at the request of the World Health Organization to see if we can come up with a cure for the epidemic that's been decimating West Africa's cattle population. Now, you have to understand, Horizon doesn't exist to make money. Horizon exists to make a better future. If people think we're crazy, well, that's their problem. Contact under fire. In position. Taking 
fire. Alpha, go! Threat neutralized. In position. Fire! Operation Angel Wire, an organization calling itself the Phoenix Group, has gained control of a Petromech drilling rig in the North Sea. They've taken the crew hostage and mined the rig. Your mission is to disarm all explosive devices and neutralize the aggressors. Good work in the Congo. The word is Dr. Winston is completely recovered from her ordeal. Security's running a background check on her. Since she's already aware of our existence, we might as well put her to use as an advisor. Given the current proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, I'm afraid we may need a biohazard expert. Be sure to read your dossier on the Phoenix Group. These guys are serious fanatics. Apparently their agenda calls for the complete destruction of modern society. They see themselves rising from the ashes to build some sort of environmentalist utopia, hence the Phoenix bit. If they get even a hint that you're on board that rig, They'll set off the bombs.
up now. Operation Sun Devil. American and Brazilian nationals have been kidnapped from a Horizon construction site in the Amazon rainforest. They are being held nearby at the stronghold of one Ramon Calderon, a known drug trafficker. Your mission is to terminate Calderon's operation with minimum civilian losses. Dr. Lang is the U.S. Presidential Science Advisor. She and Mr. Breitling can fill you in on the details of the Rainforest 2000 project. Basically, what we've got is a drug lord who doesn't like having a government installation going up in his backyard. The U.S. and Brazilian authorities have asked us to shut him down. Most of the trouble has been on the construction side of the Ark. That's the centerpiece of our whole operation. The Ark is designed to be an airtight, self-contained biosphere. The Earth in miniature, as it were. If we can learn to live responsibly in an ecosystem the size of a city block, maybe we can do a better job with the rest of the planet. John has briefed me on your previous operations. <laughs> Very impressive. As you are no doubt aware, the current administration has a strong commitment to environmental issues. Over the past four years, we've launched a number of initiatives that partner corporations with conservationists to encourage Earth-friendly economic development. The Rainforest 2000 project provides incentives for companies to develop sites in the Amazon River Basin. Horizon has committed millions of dollars to build several state-of-the-art research stations to hunt for new pharmaceuticals in the tremendous biological diversity of the rainforest. Now, with the trouble this man Calderon has been causing, work has completely stopped. It's terribly frustrating to see an important project like this held hostage by a band of common thugs.
contact. Under fire. Threat neutralized. Got him. <laughs> Under fire. Got him. Got him. Tango down. Threat neutralized. Operation Ghost Dance. Members of a radical neo-Marxist group have taken several families hostage at the World Park Amusement Center in Spain. Your mission is to rescue them and neutralize the terrorists. Park Security is contracted out to a private company called Global Security. They're also handling security at the Summer Games in Sydney next month, so they want to keep publicity about this World Park incident to a minimum. The Spanish authorities and the park management feel the same way. This is a potential public relations nightmare for all of them. We go in, we get the kids, and we get out.